Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts. Guys, the newest episode of The Flash, The Flash, Season 2, Episode 12, Fastlane, just finished airing on TV. Now I'm here to review slash just talk about the episode. So if you've not seen the newest episode of The Flash, The Flash, Season 2, Episode 12, Fastlane, click away now. I'm getting into spoilers. I'm talking all the details about this episode. So click away. If you've not seen it, I'm going to spoil the episode. Are you gone? Are you gone? Okay, let's jump into this episode, guys. So first things first, the big surprise to me Harry, a.k.a. Harrison Wells from Earth 2, admits to Barry and the team, yeah, I took your speed, Barry, in the episode. I took it. I was the reason why you're not filling up to speed, huh, pun. You're not filling up to 100%. It's all on me. I predicted this when I was live-tweeting the show that either Harry's going to get caught with the speed in the bottle that he got from using that, that tech on Barry when he was out fighting Tar Pit, the villain for this week, but I was expecting that they were going to catch him with the bottle of the Speed Force or whatever, and that didn't happen. He successfully got it to Zoom, Zoom injected it, and he felt the speed. You could tell, but he was moving a lot faster, like it was just a weird thing, but you could just tell by the electricity and how he's moving, he could feel that speed. And the most interesting thing is that you saw the huge change in Zoom as he was getting ejected with it, and you find out later that Harry only took 2% of of uh of Barry's speed. So that makes me think that Barry is a lot it has more speed force in him maybe or maybe this that's how Zoom just gets in general when he takes speed. I'm not really sure like since it's like it's like a drug. It takes like speed force. Maybe that's that's just normal, but to me when I watched it it felt like well maybe Barry's speed is better than his speed force. I'm not really sure here. But uh, the big thing was is that Harry admitted it, which I was very surprised. And what's more surprising is that instead of killing him like Joe West wanted to, it turns out the fact that they found they got an interesting thing. Well, he was doing it to save his daughter. Let's go to Earth 2, and that's how we're going to meet uh, Killer Frost, a.k.a. Caitlin Snow from Earth uh, 2. And that's how we're going to meet Deathstorm, a.k.a. Uh, Ronnie from Earth 2. So I'm definitely excited to see that because they did show that clip at the end of there. Um, and they've already admitted that they're going to be popping up when they go to Earth 2. So I'm really excited to see that. But um, there you have it. Harry admitted it. So they didn't really... Um, this whole sneaking around didn't really last long because the, the midseason finale... The ending was, I'll help you steal uh, the Flash of Speed, and literally three episodes later, uh, I I'm taking it. Okay, well, there you have it. Not really a uh, lingering backstory, so anyways. Let's continue on with the villain of the week, Tar Pit. Now, interesting that they decided to do this, because as we all saw, in because the beginning kind of reminded me of season one of this episode, where they were kind of doing the you know, the before the uh, accelerator happened and before he became Tar Pit or whatever. And it reminds me of a lot of season one when they kept doing, showing before the accelerator happened and how these different individuals individuals were getting their powers or whatever. So it kind of reminded me of that sense. And I did tweet this out and I do want to stick with this. Even though Tar Pit was definitely an interesting choice and it was kind of cool to see the effects and all that kind of stuff and at the very end of the episode Tar Pit actually was the comic version of uh, his character in the comic books he was a big like just Tar Pity like a huge creature or whatever kind of remind me of King Shark in the sense of size not the look but the size of the character and the size of King Shark it was kind of cool to kind of throw that in as an homage to him being this humongous just you know bulk of Tar Pit or Tar or whatever um, but I do, I did tweet this and I, and I stick with it. Uh, I understand they're wanting to do more comic book villains from the comic books for the flash show, but I, I want to learn more about zoom. Now we got to see a little bit of zoom, you know, he got injected, he got injected with the speed force from Barry from, uh, when Harry, uh, Harry earth two gave him the speed force that he took from Barry. But other than that, we really didn't get anything from zoom. I mean, I'm surprised he showed up in the episode. So for me, once you've already set up that Zoom is way faster than Barry, he almost kills Barry, and you set up at the mid-season finale that he, that him and Harry are going to be working together. Now, you unwrangle the backstory or the B-plot that Harry is secretly working for Zoom. You unravel it. Okay, look, we have to... So even though we're going to see uh, Killer Frost and we're going to see Deathstorm on Earth 2... I want to learn more about Zoom. You've already set this character up, and they're kind of like just 
pushing it back into a back plot, essentially. Um, Because they're trying to set up a lot of stuff. They're also trying to set up, you know, uh, Wally West and all this kind of stuff, him being introduced into the show. And they're trying to introduce different villains that pop up each week. So, but I want to really focus on Zoom. Uh, You know, they need to start focusing more on Zoom. So hopefully when they come back from Earth 2, which I'm assuming they'll come back from Earth 2 at some point once they go over there, that focus heavily on zoom we don't need to be focusing on all of these different villains as much that's just my only thing but regardless tar pit was a very interesting choice and he did look overall good and all this kind of stuff and the effects were great but to me i want more zoom so hopefully we get that pretty soon so there you have that so nothing is tar pit just once you set up zoom as the big baddie and how much they're putting focus on it at the beginning of the uh, the season and all this kind of stuff with Jay Garrick and all this kind of stuff and he almost kills Barry like I said you got to go back to that you got to go back to that uh, next thing we're going to talk about is Iris West getting hurt cause and the cause of that is because of Barry losing uh, nine, 2% of his speed he only has 98% speed force at this point and it causes Iris to get badly injured and she's end up in the hospital aka the Arrow Hospital, because it's like she's in the same room that Felicity was in at the at the at the return of the mid season of Arrow season four. Like, wow, they were they were in the same room. That's pretty cool. But Iris gets hurt um, because she's trying to follow a, a follow up with uh, with Wally West and all that kind of stuff, and. She gets involved with finding out all these stuff about how the street racers get uh, get killed and all this kind of stuff. And she's trying to tell Wally to not do it. And Wally's obviously not listening, but uh, she gets hurt in the process. And that was kind of a uh, interesting backstory. It was more of like to just bring Wally and Iris closer together. That's kind of the whole point of the backstory, or at least the B-plot, I guess, not backstory, the B-plot um, terminology, blah, the B plot of this episode was that, but, uh, it was very hurtful for Barry, and that's when the whole, he kept saying, oh, yeah, I heard all this kind of stuff, and then it's like, yeah, I, I stole your speed, so there was a whole setup, and it was all connected, and all that kind of stuff, so anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching my review, someone just walked in my room and ruined my seven-minute review, that's why I just turned, and there you go, anyways, I'm done rambling, <laughs> That was really, I'm not going to stop. This is going to be uploaded. Deal with it. So anyways, guys, that's my review. Thank you guys for watching uh, this review. What was your favorite part about this episode? Was it the Zoom part where he got the Speed Force? Was it that Harry admitted that uh, he stole the Speed Force? Anything, everything, let me know in the comment section below your favorite part about this episode. Thank you guys for watching my review. Sorry for the interruption there for a couple seconds. Peace out, guys.